Welcome to the table of 20D after hours. I'm 20D. Um, all right. Um, I'm just basically here at work. Um, about to get this night started so I can take my ass home and get some rest. But um, there's a couple things I wanted to speak on today. Okay. I just saw the the Deshaun Reed video, and um, I just I keep saying it over and over again. I feel like I'm a broken record. I keep repeating myself, but I just have some questions. How is it, you know? officers down over in, um, I think it's Indianapolis, Indiana, where they don't have body cams. I believe that's the, the town or county somewhere where it's illegal to record police and all that bullshit. I don't know if y'all familiar with the story, but he was, um, this happened before George Floyd, I believe, but he was just on Facebook Live just saying that he wasn't going to jail today next year he get out the car and you hear them taste him and you just hear a bunch of gunshots afterwards like it doesn't take a rocket scientist to realize what the fuck is going on now you know um I saw a video on YouTube last night or early this morning where it was a man that was being stopped by the police because he had a gun and had a license to carry. And another guy came up and started yelling at the police for reciting all these codes and this, that, and the third. And what we have to realize, everybody, what we have to realize is that it don't matter if you have a gun, if you have a right to carry one, if you, if you, if you have, if you're, if you're a law-abiding citizen, it don't matter, it doesn't matter if you have a gun, illegally, it doesn't matter if it's legal, it doesn't matter if you have one or not, it doesn't matter. You, you know what I'm saying, it, it doesn't matter. No matter how it turns out, it always ends the same way. Well, in this video, I'll try to find it where I can share it, but... I think I did. It's just the, the, these cops in Detroit pulled this. Three of three of the officers was white, and one of them was black. They pulled the guy over, and the guy was just saying that you know he has a right to carry. Just stood in the third and the officer saying, "Well, he can't carry it if he had this." Some bullshit was going on, and then you know, then the dude come out, yeah, he can have this because it, it turns into a whole big fucking argument. And then I seen this video of this girl backing out of a car and this dude had a gun a cop had a gun pointed at her head then the whole thing in Cobb County was the boys that supposedly had a gun them holding them at gun at, 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 <coughs> holding them at hostage like <coughs> holding them at hostage like it doesn't matter I can't believe I'm going to a Buffy the Vampire Slayer saying on this but it's not about right it's not about wrong it's about power that's what it's about. It's not about right or wrong. Or it's about power. And as of, they have the power. Because legally, they have a right to kill you. It's not, it's not a law that's correct, and I think they need to be corrected. But the only way that you're safe, if, if, I believe, is if you're a police officer, a white officer, because they shoot black undercover officers all the time. Like, it doesn't matter. It does with I it doesn't matter even if you're a cop and you're black. It doesn't matter. When they see black people, the first thing they think about is shooting. I know that's an ignorant statement to say, and I know it sounds ignorant, but it's the truth. You cannot tell me otherwise. I've been in this world almost forty fucking years. I've seen a lot. And I've dealt with police a lot. But this shit right here, like, I have never seen it before. Like, I just can't believe the way we're being gunned down. 
I can't believe where it's okay for three undercover officers to knock on somebody's fucking door and because they met with gun- kicking somebody's fucking door in the middle of the night where we're all supposed to be able to have weapons. We protect ourselves now. This girl, this girl is this woman who worked every fucking day that was trying to do something with her life isn't being dead because she got shot, got hit with eight bullets. But something she had nothing to fucking do with. But they don't, they don't take responsibility for the stuff that they do. And that's the shit that's really pissing me off. Like, come the fuck on now. We know it's a problem here. And it needs to be dealt with. It, it's a shame. Like, I always say it. Like, I try not to put things in race because there are some unjustified white shootings too done by at the hands of other white people, uh, 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 done at the hands of other white officers. I have never seen. And I'm quite sure it's some. And if somebody find one, pull me up. But show me a video of an officer shooting an unarmed white guy. Show me that video. Because I see white officers killing unarmed white people. And I see white officers killing unarmed black people. Mexicans, Hispanics, all of it. But I have never seen that. And I'm not saying that I want to see that. It just goes to show. Maybe it's a mentality thing. But then they say they fear us. They do this and they do that. What do y'all have to be afraid of? Y'all were the ones that was doing the burning down and the looting and stuff. You know, it, 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 it's, it's sickening. Like, how the fuck are you supposed to move forward with, okay, but this shit keeps happening? And then, like, yo, I don't know none of these people that were shot down, but when you look at those videos, they do something to you. They make you feel a certain type of way. That's why, as of now, they stay put a um, disclaimer on front of the video. This may cause you psychological drama or some shit like that. But it's sickening. And for a country that I pay fucking taxes in, I'm paying the police to go out and kill other black people. That's what it seems like. It seems like I'm paying... We're paying them to kill us. Because that's all that's happening. You can go down to YouTube, go down to YouTube, listen, that's all you'll see. If you're not killing us, they're beating the shit out of us. Like, what the fuck? What in the fuck? Like, how long are we supposed to sit and take this shit? Like, how long? Like, it's so much fucking racism that go on in this fucking world. You know, then... I saw a video where the mayor of Chicago and the police of Chicago, police, the police chief of Chicago or whatever, because you know the one with the Jesse, Jesse Mallet situation, he got terminated. But what I don't understand is even with that, even with that, how is it possible, let me, let, I'll get to that in the situation, this woman doesn't agree with the way that the Chicago PD does things. And she's saying it's a problem. It's a racist problem. The police chief up there, who happens to be a Caucasian, I think he's Italian or something, said there is no issue. I got two names to name to you if you're from Chicago. Two names to name. Laquan McDaniel and I forgot with the Paul O'Neill Paul O'Neill Laquan McDaniel Paul O'Neill in a nutshell we, we we're all probably familiar with the Laquan McDaniel you know who was shot 16 times because he was how off PSP, PC, PCP. That right there was just fucking hatred. But they all tried to cover it up and stuff. And they didn't, the, the people that was covering up whatever, they just let them off easily. And they gave that pussy six years, which ain't nothing. The Paul O'Neill situation is the one that really breaks my heart the most. Like, he was still, he stole a Jaguar. Okay. The police officers start shooting at him 
why he's driving the car on the road. He gets out scared and try to hop over a fence, and the officer goes and shoots him in the bag, then brags about it. And guess what? Nothing happened to him. He didn't even have a gun. There was the other officers that were shooting. I give you an, I give you a white on white crime. The guy in Utah, all this this is on CNN. Guy in Utah coming out of a store. I guess he had his headphones in. Soon as the cop pulled off, he pulled up with his gun behind him, drawn out. Dude turns around, cop shells him. Cop kills him, all going through his pocket. So some hold on, bud. Hold on, I'm help is on the way. Of course, you know, help wasn't on the way. And going through his pockets and didn't find nothing. But he's dead, and the officer, and the officer is just let, just let go. The officer falls up in Detroit. Like, I can keep naming these fucking, I can keep going down a fucking list. It's fucking sickening. Like, damn, you at least, I at least thought with George Floyd, with that, that situation happened, I bet at least that would, damn, maybe we can come to, but no, it doesn't matter about the reform, it doesn't matter about the accountability, it doesn't matter that these motherfuckers are going to, it don't matter, it's never going to change, I can see that, how long have we been asking them to stop killing us, for like 400 fucking years, and they're not, that's the thing, I don't think that they are, I don't think they understand, you know, like, I get so tired. Here. Of reporting the same thing over and over. And like, I'm a real reporter, but I'm getting, tired, getting sick and tired of talking about the same thing over and over and over again. It's to the point now, it's like, I just don't, I like, I just, rather, I'm just done with talking. You know, like, when you're about to fight somebody and y'all going back and forth, but it's like, you're, I'm just done with talking. I'm done with talking. Like, it just doesn't make any fucking sense. Of course, we don't want nobody going out burning on Wendy's or burning anything the fuck down. No, we don't want that. But shit, enough is enough. Us as black people, we have rights too. We have rights too. We pay bills. We pay taxes. We do everything everybody else doing. It's like, we keep getting fucked with. Like, what the fuck? No matter what we do, it's a fucking problem. You can't you can't go to the park while you're black. Can't sleep in your car while you're black. You can't go jogging while the fuck you're black. You can't eat while you're fucking black. You can't go to war. Like, what the fuck? What is the fuck? Like, this isn't your land. Y'all may think it is, but it's not. It doesn't belong to anybody but God. And if we're taking claims on it, who it really belongs to is the Native Americans, the Moors, or whoever. But it don't belong to y'all because y'all didn't, because y'all came over here just like the fuck it. Some say that we were snatched over here. I believe a lot of us was already over here. But that's a whole other history lesson that I just don't even feel like going through. But it's just the simple fact of it is, why is it that... We, we always, like, I keep saying we as a race, but it just seems like we're always coming to the table, and it's like y'all keep shitting on us. And it's not cool. It's not fair. Like, what the fuck? But God let us come together. God let us, let us stop these police. Let, let us do, oh, then the National Guard got to come in. Oh, that got to come in. Whenever we try to get together, they want to call National Guard. And wanna, they want to put Trump bitch ass in the fucking basement. And what's fucked up is I really don't have too much for Trump. I'm indifferent to him. But I don't understand is how is it that these motherfuckers, these GOP, GOPs, whatever, can come up to the fucking White House with their fucking guns and armed and all that shit. And it's cool. We ain't get together to say stop killing us. They got this motherfucker in the head and under the fucking basement. Like, it gets, it, it's, it's angry. And I can understand why a lot of anger, why we hold a lot of anger. I can understand why we have high blood pressure, anxiety, schizophrenia, bipolar. I can understand why, because we done been through so fucking much. You get what I'm saying? Trauma is passed on through generations. Like, it's passed on. It's not something that's just inherent. It passed, it's passed on. Like, that means inheriting, by the way. Now I have something else I need to fucking talk about. Now this is on some old oil and shit. I have never. I can't say I have never, because probably a lot of times I haven't noticed it. But 
my manager at work today said something to me that was really, really out of line. Like, out of line. And I'm a human being. I say stuff, a human being, I say some stuff sometimes that people can take offense to or vice versa. But let me tell you what she said to me. I've noticed when working with her, you know, people that you work with, you really don't fuck with them, but you just, you know, you deal with them because it's work, you know. She a year younger than me, but she says to me she doesn't like when I talk in a high-pitched voice. Okay, that's a part of my voice. I'm quite sure y'all have even heard it. I have, my voice goes up and down. When I'm excited, I have a high-pitched voice. Okay. So, she was like, she don't like it when I talk in a high-pitched voice and I need to sound more like a man. Okay, that point here. I'm like, did this bitch not realize what the fuck she's saying to me? Do you know? So then, you know, I played it cool. I didn't react because, to be honest with you, shit like that, I laugh at. But other people don't. Well, but okay, you know. So then she was saying, there's no place in in here, there's no place in that, and no place in here for that, and you know, you need to talk like a man, and this, that, and the third, and, and I said to her, then I say to her, what's up, buddy, what's going on, brother, then I say to her, do you not, do you understand what you're telling me, I don't think you understand what you're saying, and she says, yes, she does, so now, this is the part that really pisses me off. Let me say this. Why? Do I have, like, I don't want to say the wrong thing, but fuck it. Why is it that I got to change for white people? Whenever I'm in a business setting or something like this, I can't talk like Anthony. I have to talk like Howard. I have to, you know, talk like this. I have to pronunciate my R's. I have to get real straight and stiff, you know. I have to talk like this. When I'm around straight people, I got to talk like this, you know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? I got to bring it home like I'm from fucking Philly or what? You know what I mean? Like, I got to talk like this. Why the fuck can't I just be me? That's the part that really got me fucking heated, bruh. Like, why can't I just be me? Okay, I just have a high-pitched voice. That's the way I fucking talk. That's the way I feel like talking. Mariah Carey's my favorite singer. I can't help it. That's the fucking way I talk. I've always talked to fuck like that. But for to have a female tell me some shit like that, telling me I need to talk more like a fucking man, bitch, you a fucking manager. See, I could be dirty. I could be real mean, but I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to even go that way. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna talk to my talk to my manager manager and we're gonna have a discussion about the appropriate the appropriate way of talking to people in the workplace. Because they got down on me when I made a tiki when I said that I made a tiki barber joke. They didn't like that at all. But it's okay for y'all want to belittle with me and say little things and y'all laugh and y'all joke about it. And I key about it, so I'm like, huh, okay, because it really, it, do, it doesn't really affect me. But what bothers me is the simple fact that you think it's okay that you can say some shit like that. Then it has, then I always have to remind myself that, again, I'm a black male. And we can't get angry, because when we get angry, it's taken out of being, oh, you're being disrespectful, or you're being rude, or you're being this, or you're being that. So a lot of times, yeah, I have. A lot of times, I have to sit on my feelings. And it's not always easy. It's not. Men get hurt, too. Men has have prideful things. Men get hurt, too. You get what I'm saying? And that shit really fucking pissed me off to my fucking core. It really did. Hell, last year, oh, it was about a year ago today when that whole public situation happened. <laughs> but, hell, at one time I just told a bitch that I was overwhelmed because I had so much fucking work to do. And next thing I know, I was walked out the fucking door because she went complaining up in there fucking crying. Like, what the fuck? But, yeah, man, like, we got to do better, man. Stop. Listen, I don't agree with a lot of things that people do. 
I don't. There's a lot of things that go on in my own lifestyle that I don't agree with, and as well as in the straight lifestyle that I don't agree with. But one thing we have to realize is everybody is human and everybody got fucking feelings. And you can't, whether you agree with what they choose to do or not, you do not have the right to tell anybody they cannot be themselves. Nobody does. Including not even a fuck me. Shit that got me pissed all off. <laughs> I got my nose all stuffed up. But yeah, man, I'm not going to be on here dwelling over that shit all fucking day. But that shit just really pissed me the fuck off. Like, who the fuck are you to come out your fucking, fucking lopsided ass mouth to tell me the fuck, tell me what the fuck I need to act the fuck like? Like, what the fuck? Now, if I would have went and started calling her bitches and hoes and whores and stuff, then I would be wrong, right? You know, like, no. And anybody that fucking knows me know how I get down. They know, they know me. You get what I'm saying? And one thing about me, and I'm starting to realize, is can't believe I'm in tears. I really, I'm in tears. I'm not even saying this shit just got me pissed. But one thing about it is, when it comes to me, is I accept people for who they are. Now, either I fuck with you or I don't. It's never nothing in the middle. It's, you ain't never got to worry about. Oh, does Tony like me? Does he? Does he mess with me? You don't know. You will know. Either I fuck with you or I don't. There's nothing in the middle. But one thing, I, even with people that I don't fuck with, I still have a respect for them. I respect everybody as a human. So, with that being said, just everybody, just do your best to make another person feel comfortable, whether you agree with them or not, and this, that, and the third. Everybody has the right to be respected. Everybody deserves respect. You get what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, we're all God's children. You know, but... It, like, it's just, it's, it's, it's fucked up. But it is what it is, you know. I'm used to it. Well, let me get to work. I just had to get that shit, get that shit off my fucking chest. But yeah, man. This will be on some old fucking boiling shit. Say people saying whatever the fuck they want and doing whatever the fuck they want. Well, let me go. It's cancer season, so. Uh, thank y'all for listening. Um. Yeah, I'm good, though. And I just, everybody, like I said, take care and treat everyone with love and respect because we all deserve it. All right? I'll holler at you later. Thank y'all for listening again. No bullshit. I really needed to get that off my chest. I feel so much better now.